Okay, so the main card is the cracked cup. So you are feeling a bit unhappy and dissatisfied about life. And you've got someone trying to come between you and a friend or something you want. So somebody's blocking your path a little bit over there. Maybe they're, they've got a wedge here. So they're creating some sort of problem. You're not being able to achieve your goal. They're presenting some sort of obstacle. And maybe they're ruining a friendship or they could be ruining an opportunity for you. And this is probably making you very, very upset. And this is why you've got the crack, cracked cup. This person might be an older per a woman who is causing a bit of problems with you because you've got dealings with a relationship with an older woman here. Now, in the past, you've got the hand and the finger. <laughs> okay, so the hand uh, in need of help and assistance and guidance. So uh, somebody's been helping you out a little bit. And with a finger, it's a warning, uh, warning you for problem either now or in the future. So you've been having some help and, you know, maybe somebody has given you the heads up that something might be amiss. So you've been, uh, you received some sort of warning uh, in the past. A lot of body parts. Now you've got the ear, so some good news coming in for you. And the haystack, uh, karma, you will reap what you have sown. So if you've, uh, um, you know, been putting down some good vibes, you're definitely getting some good vibes coming back. Uh, but if you've not been putting on some re good vibes, uh, then, you know, don't expect um, some really great things to come your way. So, you know, karma is, you know, you whatever you sow, you reap. So just bearing that in mind, uh, something fortuitous happening, something um, uh, that is not in your control coming to play. Um, but there's some good news. It looks like you've been putting out good karma because there's good news coming over here. So whatever that was. It looks like, you know, you're going to get uh, here something really good. So those are the energies for that week. Okay, so um, this is the Five of Cups showing that, you know, you might be grieving uh, or you might have some disappoint have had some disappointments in the past. You can see this person's trying to reach the well over there and, you know, they can barely touch the water. So, you know, uh, there has been some sort of emotional disappointment. Uh, you've had loss emotionally and you are now grieving or mourning that loss. Maybe you also have this uh, emotional lack that's going on because this well is almost empty, uh, you know, and, you know, having to dig deep down uh, to try and find that emotional support. Now, around you, you do have people that are helping you and assisting. You can see at the top of the well over here, you've got a lot of people around you, but maybe you're ignoring them. You, you know, you want to do it yourself. You want to get through this. This cup is empty. So you are, you did have some sort of big emotional loss. It's also left you with a financial loss probably, uh, but, you know, definitely feeling uh, really out of sorts maybe a, a bit of depression maybe a bit of tears coming in there with that uh, five of um, cups but also the five of cups showing that you know you are going to be getting over it so you know if you look deep down inside you do have the abilities to get over the situation and you will overcome it uh, even though there seems to be this big area of lack there is uh, you know um, you do have that inner strength to deal with it. Even though you feel like your cup is empty, it, it may not be the case. Even though this well looks like it's empty, it's not really empty. There is water at the bottom. So it looks like even though you feel like you've lost everything, you haven't. There is something still that remains and it's up to you to be able to access it. And there are people around you that will be able to help you access um, this um whatever you need, that support that you need, that strength that you need to get through the situation. So there has been a big change that has come into your life because this is the judgment card and you are now deciding to take a different route. And this is the main heart of the situation. Uh, you know, you are taking uh, a different path and you are going to be victorious in this. So you are standing your ground, your sword is raised, you're flying over all the problems that you've uh, encountered, you know, you have, you've gotten your freedom and your freedom of thinking and your freedom of doing things. And you are now your own person. You are taking the reins and you are flying. You're not just on the, on the, um, uh, you're not on the horse on the land. You are actually a horse in the sky. So you have achieved, you are victorious in whatever you have gone through. Uh, you have overcome it with flying colors. So you are, you know, you are well on your way to rising above that situation. And, uh, you know, financially, you're also quite stable. Uh, it seems like, you know, you've come into your own as far as your work and your finance goes. You're a very independent person right now. And, you know, you've... Um, you're getting there. 
you are actually getting that achievement. So after all this loss that has happened, it seems like with the judgment card and this queen of pentacles, you are, are rising to the top. You are getting to a point where, you know, a lot of people will admire you for overcoming such a difficult situation. So in the last year, you've got the four of rods. So some new opportunity had presented itself to you. It could be a new project at work. Uh, it could be, you know, some sort of new job opportunity, but something was presented to you and it looks like, you know, it made you very happy. And it looks like it was work because you started something new. Uh, in this last few months. So a new opportunity presented, new money came in, a new achievement came in, new plans came came in. So definitely financially, you know, you're getting, you got into that place where you're financially secure. With this new opportunity, this new job started and you ended up being, you know, in charge, uh, some sort of management position, something that uh, made you very financially comfortable. And maybe this is the thing that has spurred you uh, onto the road, onto a different pathway in life. So you have, you reached, you reached the turning point, and you did make that turn. You moved into something different. Now around you, you know, uh, you were worried about people being. Uh, you know, there was a lot of subterfuge around you, people lying. There might have been somebody that you're dealing with who was trying to get back at you, uh, you know, very vindictive behavior. Uh, this is the knave of swords, so a gossip, a person who is vindictive, a person who is out there to, you know, tell tales, um, carry tales, tell a lot of lies, trying to bring your downfall, almost trying to bury you in this grave that they've dug for you. So they were saying things that were, you know, trying to get uh, get to you, trying to bring you down. And you were dealing with that kind of person. And it has left you really, whatever you went through has left you really uh, tired, um, you know, almost injured, emotionally injured, physically injured. Uh, you know, it, it, this man looks like he's come out back from war. He's just hobbling. So, you know, it left you at your last leg. It's left you feeling really um, drained, tired, you could be physically ill as well, uh, you know, with stress or cause some sort of problems, but it's taken its toll on you. And it looks like, you know, you do need to, to recover, you need to retreat and recover. Uh, because whatever happened to you in this year has caused a lot of, um, you know, you've been through the mill, really. Uh, you know, you can see this blood on the sword and it shows that, you know, you've been really injured. You may have struck a few blows, um, gotten a few victories but you've also uh, been injured a lot in this whole um, scenario that happened so what's happening with you presently you're undergoing some sort of assessment people are, um, are looking at your work and they uh, maybe they're criticizing it or maybe they're just doing a work assessment on you so you're going through that kind of thing right now where whatever projects you're putting down is being analyzed and you know people are actually looking at it being with a very critical eye and this could be something that is even stressing you out further here. Yeah, so on top of whatever you've gone through on a personal, emotional basis, it seems like even in your work, it looks like, you know, people are still, uh, you know, criticizing everything that you do. Now, financially, it seems like you've been through some sort of loss. Uh, you know, you're yeah, left out in the cold, uh, you know, financial loss, maybe a loss of a home, uh, but really going through a lot of hard times financially as well. So it seems like you've had it. Uh, you've got the four over here showing, you know, where you've been uh, having maybe some, uh, like I said, some health problems, but also uh, with a five of uh, pentacles next to it, this also talks about health problems. So your health may be suffering from all the stress that you have been through and, you know, you, you really do need to recover. These cards are both next to each other, both of them talking about health problems or health concerns or having it taken its toll on you. And it all seems to be um, due to the fact that you were so stressed out. So what you want is you want to just relax, have some fun, and just you know get together with friends and family um with this three of cups you know you want to be able to reach a point where you can celebrate and just relax and just sit back and enjoy some music and enjoy you know uh, maybe a glass of wine kind of scenario so that's what you want you want uh, to get some uh, relaxation and de-stress possibly so going into the future, you've got um the eight which is the strength card the seven which is the uh, chariot card and you've got um, the Queen of Rods. So with the eight cards saying that, you know, you've got to be very, very bold, make take risks, and you've also got to be very, very, uh, sh uh, show people your strength. Um, with the Strength card, it's also talking about recovering from any kind of illness that you have, so you will come out of that 
uh, if you're um, suffering from some sort of illness, you do have the ability uh, to heal from it. You, know, you might need to just take a break, um, take a little bit of holiday, and if you're having any health concerns, you will recover from it. But you need to maybe retreat and get your strength back. It was also showing that you need to show uh, that you have the strength, um, you know, act with authority, uh, act with boldness, and uh, tell people or no on certain terms that this is what you want to do and, you know, they should back down. You've got the chariot card, so you have to be determined. You may have had to make some sacrifices, but this is achievement after making sacrifices, after lo obstacles, after loss, there is achievement. So whatever you have been striving for, you will get. And you're very determined to get as well. Uh, so you will achieve everything that you want. And although it's come with a lot of hard work and a lot of sacrifice, that is definitely in the bag. So, you know, uh, whatever you've been striving for, you will get. There is victory for you. You've got the Queen of Rods over here, so there might be somebody that you're getting some advice from. Uh, you know, it might be somebody distant to you, um, maybe a distant female relative, or somebody that you're asking for some advice from that you're communicating with, and this person is inspiring you to do your best work. So uh, there is somebody that is giving you advice, somebody that is helping you uh, achieve what you need to achieve, and you know that uh, those words or whatever this person is saying to you is getting you giving you the strength to continue whatever you're doing or to to continue the fight, to continue the struggle and overcome all these obstacles. So uh, this Queen of Rods is giving you that inspiration and she's bringing, uh, you know, this growth into your life um, so that you can achieve. She's making you see all the different possibilities and abundance will come in. The advice she's giving you is very productive for you and it, it's something that you're relying on quite heavily at the moment. Um, and, you know, it's allowing you to uh, achieve the goals that you have set for yourself. <coughs> so basically, you do need to take a little bit of a break uh, because, you know, your health is starting to suffer from it uh, after all the stress, but you will uh, achieve everything that you need to achieve. Um, you know, as far as your work life goes, it looks like, you know, you are going to be uh, victorious in everything that you do. So I'm just going to draw some cards from this animal tarot. And the first card is the ego, which says, um, you may feel that you are trapped in your situation, but that's not true. Uh, be careful not to overly focus on, upon material wealth and break free from negative thinking. So uh, the ego card, um, you know, it's like the devil card. It's you know saying, try not to be uh, just, you know, too much of focus on, on, on the work front uh, is um, making your health suffer. So you actually do need to defocus a little bit, uh, you know, take a break from it. And get a new perspective and then come back and then you can get, get back into work again. But you do need to look after yourself first. And the Princess of Springs says, uh, creative opportunities uh, that you feel passionate about are fluttering your way. Personal growth and broadened horizons will spark fresh and original ideas. So there are new opportunities coming your way that are going to bring in a lot of transformation. But you need to recover your health and your strength back again in order for you to take advantage of these new opportunities. And the last card is the star card. Um, you are about to take a big leap um, forward with your life. Worry will be... Um, Worry will be replaced with optimism, fear with hope, and joy is coming home to roost. So this is a really beautiful card uh, with the star. You can see the butterfly there, transformation, and, you know, everything will, co will come your way. This is what it's saying. Worry will be replaced with optimism, fear with hope, and joy is coming home to roost. So you're going to get that emotional satisfaction or that love or that, um, you know, that thing that you've been looking for. That contentment is coming to you and, uh, you know, you just need to be optimistic and be hopeful because whatever you have wanted is coming your way with the star. And it looks like it's been divinely given to you. It's it's like a blessing coming from heaven for you after you went through a whole bunch of nonsense. It looks like, you know, things are finally going to go your way and you're going to get that satisfaction and that peace that you've been looking for. <laughs> 